welcome back everyone to Brew United playing Tactics Ogre Reborn. This is going to be a little bit different of a playthrough. Denim heard the words from the Duke, Knights, and now he believes that's the only party he can have. Hope you enjoy. And for that, I will need Knights. Knights such as yourselves. Will you join my table at Almodica? Us? Uh, knights? Okay, so... How are we going to do this? Well, to start with, let's create the Order of Mice, because that's a powerful name, right? And to be able to do that, we've played the first hour and 15 minutes so far that I've cut out of this video. Once you've secured Almorca Castle, you get some funds from the Duke to recruit your knights, and you get a few party members that join the party. So there's Baldric the Warrior, there is a Mage, there is a Cleric, and there is also an Archer. We're just going to get rid of every one of them. And we're also going to take all their gear off because I really want to have this game play through with each single character being recruited, hired, and built from scratch, if that makes sense to you so far. Yes, welcome to the party, everyone. And you're about to get booted from the party because we need your gear to get some of that elusive early game money to buy all the things we need because that's how we're going to start this. Ah, forgot to mention the Rune Fencer, too. He joins. Let's go ahead and turn in the coins that we had from the two previous battles that got us so far. And now that we have a starting party, that technically you could start the game and you could play with these characters and change them and they could be pretty good. But that's not what Denim heard. Denim heard, and our playthrough, is going to be super focused on getting rid of these people, getting rid of the gear, selling the gear, and recruiting, at the beginning, at least five warriors. So that's going to be the start. This game will continue beyond this video, and my hopes is the comments that I'll receive on this video will actually drive what I do next. So I'm going to do another video next Sunday. Today is January the 15th, and I would love to have comments to actually help drive the madness that this video could become. Um, do I stick with Knights? Do I continue with uh, other party members to basically make it a little bit more balanced, or do we just remain with knights the entire thing? That's up to you. So as we sit here breaking everyone's heart, and they're so shocked that we're getting rid of them because they've been with us for so long, you know, I actually hate getting rid of the rune fencer here because one of the thoughts that I had was, how about we just have an entire party of rune fencers? Now, there's a reason why I'm picking knights. So you're probably thinking, okay, Brew, tell me why you're picking knights. Well. This is the reason. They can do many different things. They're like a brick on the battlefield. They can take a lot of damage. Ah, should we keep Baldrick? Eh, nah. Let's just go ahead and get rid of him too. Again, started from scratch, so let's get rid of him. Even he's a warrior, let's just get rid of him. Okay, back to knights. They also have some spells. They can heal each other. They can do a lot of damage in later game. And we're gonna equip them a little bit differently. We're going to actually put, let's think here. Let's give them all an axe and let's give them all a parry weapon. So let's give them one of the daggers and we'll build it from that. So I'm going to make everyone lawful. I'm going to make them all lightning for now. I don't know. That just sounds good. Sure. So we'll just be all the same thing. And let's think who we can create first. Uh, I'm going to rename. How about El Cid? What a great night name. We'll start there. El Cid, you are my first knight, or warrior, for now. Okay, one down, 2,000 goth gone, and we have plenty of money still. Okay, let's pick our next knight. So we're going to recruit another warrior. Let's do all the same stuff. Rename, and we're going to go with... Uh, let's go with William Marshall, Sir William Marshall. That is a great knight name. Good English knight from many moons ago. Uh... Oh, crap. I didn't know that was the case. Ended up with Bruno Mars' brother, William Mars. All right. Um, all right, I need to pick shorter names. So I didn't know that was actually a thing. Interesting. Okay, we're learning as we go here. But you didn't know that either. Or if you did, good for you. Okay, William Mars, Bruno's brother. All right, we got another one down. Uh, we are not actually doing any min-max stuff. We're not looking for strength every time or anything. I'm just picking them as they come. You know, here we go, Lawful. Let's go with Lightning again. And let's give you a short name. 
I live in North Carolina, so how about Hugo? Hugo the Hornet. That hurricane actually came over my house. Actually was in the eye of the hurricane for a while. Nearly said tornado. I always get those two mixed up. Not because I don't know what they are, but because for some reason I mix them up. Okay, that's Hugo down. Let's pick uh, someone random here. How about, how about Lionel Messi? So we'll call him Lionel. Hey, right, won the World Cup, so why not give him a spot in my game? All right, that is Lionel. That'll fit as far as name goes. All right, now we need to think of one more. We need a mighty name. So we've got El Cid, William Marshall, Hugo, Lionel Messi, and let's go with... Uh, Got to think about this one. Let's go with... Ah, got it. Let's go with Bob. Because why not? we got to have a short name. Perfect. All right, so we have got our warrior party that will be knights. And five is good because I think some of the first battles you can only put six people, and that includes denim. Okay, so we got rid of the people we didn't want. We recruited people that we wanted. We named them. Now we need to shop. We need to buy them weapons, armor, all the things. And we're going to have to be pretty clever with money. I think we're going to be close. I'm not sure if we actually... Oh, we haven't sold anything yet, so at least we can get all these things. So we'll outfit them mainly with their weapons and their armor. I don't know if we can outfit them all with rings. I do need to sell some things, I think, to give them most likely at least a few healings. Maybe a, a blessing stone to res, because I think that's going to happen. And probably one of the first battles we're going to get into... Consider more level 3, only with 3 characters. The rest are level 1. And I believe the next fight is going to be a level 5 fight. We're going to want to sit here and train. So let's go ahead and equip everyone with their things. I'm getting rid of the buckler here, and I'm putting the dagger. And the reason why I'm doing that is it has a very high chance to parry. It actually has, I don't know the exact number, but it happens more often than not. And what that does is... Instead of getting hit for 200, 300, you're actually just not getting hit at all. Now, would you rather have better armor or would you rather just not be hit? You know, that's always a trade-off, but that's how I think. Now, if you haven't noticed, Kashua and also Vice are guests at this point, so I'm really not worried about outfitting them because if they get hurt enough, they just teleport away. All right, let's rinse and repeat on all of our main characters here. Let's see if I can be clever and actually do it one way instead of the other. See how good I am at this. Maybe not great. Got him all equipped with all the weapons and the armor. Ah, I forgot that always does that. Puts that main weapon instead of the axe. These are some things that uh, when you play through, you'll, you'll realize. That if you put a dagger first, it'll put it in the right hand. Because apparently everyone's right-handed. Interesting. Just a few more people to get all sorted out here. And this armor's not great, you know? I think it's just better to at least have some ability to soak up some damage. I'm outfitting everyone with the same weapons because the dagger actually at the level 20 has a capability of having a little bit of ranged. Now, that's something I actually thought about. Do I want to parry with equipping a dagger or did I want to equip in the second slot uh, the offhand did I want to do some ranged weapon? And I decided with the dagger because ultimately the special ability, I think at level 2, is it also has, or I keep saying level 2, I mean level 20. It actually has, on the finishing move, the ability to silence. And that becomes extremely powerful uh, and builds from there. Okay, so next step, let's buy a few items and let's test out this party. What do you think? Okay, final thing to do. Let's go ahead and sell all the stuff that we had taken off our former people. And let's then buy... I think we're going to buy a few healing things per person. And we'll probably just get a Blessing Stone. Really doesn't matter on the Blessing Stone because if we're doing training, you immediately disappear. So it's kind of like insta-kill, but you don't actually die because it's training. So let's start that way. And we'll outfit everyone basically the same. Looking at all the stuff I'm selling, it's... Making me wonder, did I actually duplicate buy everything? I do that a lot. You know, while I'm recording a video, I kind of forget what I'm doing. I don't know if you do that, if you're a content creator or not. But I do. So here we go. Let's just go ahead and check. Let's make sure. All right, no. 
I'm actually outfitted. All right. So what we'll do is go ahead and give everyone, as I mentioned, the two healing items, and then we'll also give them a blessing stone. And then from there, I think that should be good. So let's do Mendeleef 1 or plus 1, because that's actually just that little bit extra. It's not healing a 50, it's doing 150 per hit. And then the blessing stone. Wow, that's expensive. Yeah, we're going to need it moving into the next round. Once we turn them into knights, I'm going to be less worried about healing. And I'm still going to be focused on blessing stones because, again, we're running nothing but knights. Okay, let's take this that next step. And let's go ahead and do this battle. I am going to go ahead and speed up on the recording probably at a times two here. So if it sounds like Alvin and the Chipmunks, that's the reason why. So let's keep the speed up so that we're not sitting here for 10, 12 minutes to finalize the outcome. If you've never played this game, one of the things you can look out for is at the beginning of each battle, the objective is extremely important because sometimes you don't want to kill everyone off. You just want to go directly for the main person. Sometimes, like this battle in training, you're going to have to vanquish the entire enemy. So let's methodically just go through and see who is the weakest person and attack them. I like to call the weak enemy squishies because I played a lot of MMOs in my days, and that's typically what the glass cannon class is when you look at a mage. So we're going to attack them first. We're also going to take out that knight at the same time, and we're going to see how this party works out. So far, it's a pretty boring party. Now, that's going to start changing when we get, get past level one because we're also then going to have the capability of having our finishing moves. We're going to have the pincer attack where we start getting... People surrounded, and then we start having the capability of actually, once we surround them, having that four-way attack. I might, at some point, start looking at how we augment beyond that. Do we specialize certain people and actually put a shield on them? Do we start heading down the path of adding extra HP for that specialized skill? Again, I want to hear from the comments. I would love to hear what your playthroughs look like, if you've ever done this type of playthrough, we're just adding a whole pile of knights. Again, what you want to see is what I'll do. We can actually do kind of a choose your own adventure. So go from there. I noticed since I do not have the knights, I'm taking way more damage than I would normally do. See, look at that. I mean, that hit really hit hard. And if I get that knight, I think I've got three knight marks. I was wanting to wait till all of them had a knight mark and then I can go ahead and raise that kind of in uniformity, but if that isn't the case, I might go ahead and just promote three people to knights just so that we have an easier time and we can start heading that that next level uh, with at least three of them. The other two kind of left out. I mean, we could also take a direction here if you're interested to have those two people that are not knights that are still warriors go into berserkers and we can kind of try a mixed split thing that way. Again, comments, need them. Need to be able to figure out what that is. You know, when I look at Denim, and he still is that warrior class, that particular skill that we just hit off there, that mighty impact skill that really does crazy damage, is almost a reason to keep everyone warrior. But the amount of items that we have to use will become extremely expensive quick. I mean, I've had it where you can switch the game to AI mode, and it actually starts using your items it almost will run out of money just throwing your most expensive heals and your blessing stones out. And it, it doesn't care about your money. You know, it's spending it like it's like it's just growing on trees or something. I don't know. But as you play this game, you can really play it however you want. And when I talked in one of my previous videos, that was one of the conversations I wanted to have is to say, hey, let's do some unorthodox class builds or group builds and let's just go at it in an interesting way. So that's what we're doing here. We're starting to surround other characters, you can tell. I don't know if you're watching other than just listening. But if you're watching, you can see that we're actually completely surrounding a Berserker. And at the same time, while Denim is running around, doing his thing, hitting people with criticals. And we're going to go ahead and finish that person off there. There we go. Okay, so far, I'm not blown away by this particular build. I can see where it's going to go, though. I can see... Once we get some of those finishing moves, once we get the pincer attacks, once we start getting heals, I think this will nearly be an unstoppable party. 
until we get to some of those boards where they're going to be probably nuking me from far. When they start doing that, though, I still think I have the capability of healing enough. And you can see we're really close to just mopping up uh, the remaining two here, which I think we're about to do. So my thoughts so far is... Ooh, just lost some one, didn't I? Yeah, my, my, my thoughts so far is I'm pretty happy with, at the beginning, starting with this type of class. I think it's a little different, right? And the one thing I really am excited about is turning them all into knights. So, end of the battle, not horrible, not a super fun start. I am waiting anxiously till they all get to level 5. And, oh, look at that. Pincers and, and Mighty Impact. That's going to make all the difference. So let's end it here, guys. Really appreciate your time. Really appreciate you watching. Again, love the comments, likes. If you like these types of videos, sub. It always makes a big difference. And that's what we're here for, is to educate and actually have interaction with people that watch the videos. So thanks, everyone. Brew United here. Hope you have a great rest of your week. We'll see you next weekend with the comments section driving the video. Take care.